Today I'm going to show you how to turn a rock into wearable art as jewelry. My friend in Ohio wanted a black onyx pinky ring. Well, I saw this ring at a show, and uh, it's uh, black onyx. It's not quite a pinky sized ring. It has three lines. Um, for pinky, I'm not going to be able to do three. I'm only going to do one. Um, also, I don't have any uh, black onyx. Sorry. Uh, you'll watch this video and you'll find out that it's obsidian, but I doubt anybody's really going to be able to tell the difference between onyx and obsidian, so this is what I chose to use. I'm going to take this hot wax and a hot stone and push them together so that I have a little handle to hold on to. Then I'm going to go over to the flat lap here. It's basically a metal disc and it spins around with diamond grit on it. I'm going to turn the water on. The water will keep the stone cool because if it heats up, that uh, wax is going to melt. But also, it uh, washes away the debris. So I do this for like half an hour. It's really, really boring and it makes a mess. There's water flying everywhere. And that's what I end up with. So back to the flat lap for another hour, hour and a half. And I can finally get the stone down to less than four millimeters, which is uh, the size of silver that I had. So that's going to work out. So I take a piece of silver that I had from a different project, uh, was left over, so it worked out well that I could just reuse that piece. I'm going to cut it to the uh, right size that I want. Uh, you know, I want the top to be flat and to be a certain width. Now I'm going to mark out exactly how I want the top to look. And then I'm going to cut some lines. After I cut the lines, I'm going to use my needle file and file out a triangle shape into those lines so that I'm able to fold the metal over. So keeping the top flat, I can make the rest of the ring round. Uh, here's that process, just uh, bending it over, checking it on my hand, see how it looks. Um, once I do that, I'll... Uh, solder those seams uh, so that everything stays together well and that's this process here after that I'm gonna cut off the end pieces because it was really too long and I'm gonna use those pieces that I cut off and save them for a process that you'll see in a later part of the video now I'm gonna bend it down and make it round the rest just uh, using my pliers I made those pliers uh, from something else and uh, anyways now I'm gonna solder it together here's that process once I get the inside soldered nice I'm gonna make sure that that solder pulls all the way through to the outside now I'm gonna make it nice and round the right size on my ring mandrel I do have a little piece of metal in there uh, on the flat part so it doesn't uh, so that part doesn't get round. Now I'm going to solder out all the or file out all the solder seams there and make everything kind of relatively smooth on the inside. Now those extra pieces I used I'm going to put on the side. So here I am I'm just lining it up see what I want it to look like. I'm going to use my little knife and mark out what I want. Now I'm going to cut that out. Uh, once I cut that out, I'll fit it on the inside of the ring and I uh, use some wire to uh, hold it in place while I solder it. So here goes the solder process. Uh, it's always cool to see the solder flood. It's um, everybody's favorite part. Um, uh, once again, I turn it over and make sure to bring that solder all the way through the seams. Now that uh, I'm going to cut out the rest of that uh, part there to make the inside of the ring completely round, and now I have some sides built for the ring. I did both sides. I don't think I showed that process. Then I'm going to file everything down, make everything the way that, uh, you know, just shape everything up nicely. Here's that four millimeter thick piece that I was using, and you can see that the stone is smaller. Now I'm going to cut out the uh, top piece that I'm going to solder to the top flat part of the ring and this is going to hold the stone in um, I got it right size it's 
going to work out well. Show you my stone. Yep, that's still good. Now I'm marking out where I want the stone to be exactly. Just eyeballing it, measuring it on all the sides. I'm going to take the stone off the dop stick by warming it up. And now I'm going to mark on the stone where I need to cut. So I'm going to have to go back to that flat lap. Uh, here I've turned it into a saw and saw uh, basically trim it down just a little bit. Um, now that piece that I cut out, I'm going to make like an H. I, I made an H so that I could make sure the lines were uh, completely parallel on it when I soldered it. Here I am soldering it. Uh, I wanted to make sure to get all sides nice and hot, nice good solder, so I did it from underneath as well. Um, now that H bar in the middle, I'm gonna cut that out. So I'll have one big stone there. Uh, that's how that works. Now I gotta file out, uh, file that all down. Just a lot of filing, a lot of sanding. And uh, there were some leftover grooves on the side, and this was kind of an artistic part where I thought, oh, i just leave those grooves in there and maybe I'll uh, kind of darken them. I ended up doing that. You'll see that at the end. Now I'm just uh, making all the edges nice and round so it doesn't hurt your finger. Everything looks nice. Now i got to put the stone back on the dop stick, a smaller dop stick since it's going to be a much smaller stone. And here I am grinding it to uh, proper dimensions. Uh, you always have to check your fit. So I'm checking it. I'm getting real close, but it's still taking a while. Uh, not quite there. Go back on there. Uh, still, the stone is still too big to fit in there. So I got to file down the metal just a tiny bit. It's getting really close. Uh, here we are. It fits in quite nicely. Fantastic. <laughs> I hammered it in a little bit. Now I'm actually gonna glue the stone in and then I'll uh, hammer down on top of it to mash the metal on there as well so that it's nice and snug. Now those uh, overhangs I'm gonna have to make smooth and flat, and it'll also grind the metal of the ring. So I'm just gonna grind everything down all nice and flush. Even the top part, I'm gonna grind, uh, file that down so it's flush with the stone. And then I'm gonna go back to the flat lap here and uh, get that final, everything nice and smooth and even. It's gonna look fantastic. And uh, here's that blackener I was talking about. It's uh, liver of sulfur. It's just a chemical that basically oxidizes the silver, turns it black, kind of an antique look. Now that's just going to be left over in the little uh, cracks there. I have a, uh, a polishing disc that I'm going to use to uh, just get any of the major scratches out. This size, uh, I hope it fits him. He said he wanted one a little bit smaller than that ring that I showed you there. And it's about half a size smaller. So I don't know how it's gonna work out for him. Uh, I'm gonna now just polish. Uh, this is a pre-polish, just a pre-polish before it goes to the final polish. Here's the final pro polish step. It's going to be nice and shiny. Uh, throw it in the ultrasonic, which is uh, just a cleaning solution. It's a toothbrush I use. And it uh, vibrates the cleaner solution in the water to get everything nice and clean. This is the finished product. Uh, I hope you love it. You know who you are. Um, Nobody will ever know it's not onyx. You can tell them whatever you like. Uh, it's actually obsidian. Obsidian actually polishes nicer than onyx. However, it's not as hard, so it might get dull a little faster. Just send it back to me. I'll polish it back up. I like how it looks. It doesn't fit on my pinky, but uh, it's not for me. So 
Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. That'll help me. Cheers.